Hello everybody, it is DD122, Daily Dictation 122. It will be pretty simple, I think. It's a request. Somebody wanted to see a video about Brazil. So, I chose a video about Brazil. When you say Brazil, most people think of beaches and Rio and Carnival. But there's so much in Brazil, and another common subject is the Amazon. So we'll study a little about the Amazon. But first, we need to go back to DD-121, which was a short conversation from a sitcom. Let's listen again. Hi. Hey. How come you're wearing a hat? Uh, I got a haircut. Oh, yeah? Can I see it? Uh, there's nothing to say. Come on, let me see it. Forget it. Come on! All right. I hope you watched the original video. Uh, it might make it easier. Let's check it out. Hey! Hey! How come you're wearing a hat? Uh, I got a haircut. Oh, yeah? Can I see it? Ah, uh, there's nothing to see. Come on, let me see it. Forget it. Come on. All right. So, hey, hey. And of course, you could just write hi, but really in America, we do say hey. So, hey. No, it's hey. Hey. So if you have an American friend, you can just say hey. How come you are wearing a hat? Great expression. How come means what? Why. So how come you are wearing a hat? We could change that. Why are you wearing a hat? We could also say, what are you wearing a hat for? So we have three possibilities. How come you're wearing a hat? Why are you wearing a hat? And what are you wearing a hat for? They're all the same. The same meaning. It means why. Why are you wearing a hat? How come? Now, the American pronunciation for how is pretty short. It sounds like ha. How. how come? How come? How come here? How come here? How come here? Wow, it's really confusing. Y-O-U-R-E, perfect pronunciation. You were, you were, you were. But if we say it faster, your, your, it sounds the same as this, your, your. But the normal speed is going to be your, your, your. So try and get that R. How come here? How come here? How come you're so early? Why are you so early? Why are you tired? How come you're tired? How come you're tired? How come you're tired? How come you're, you are tired? In this case, how come you're wearing a hat? How come you're wearing a hat? Why are you wearing it? You never wear a hat. What's wrong? How come you're wearing a hat? Why are you wearing a hat? Uh, I got a haircut. I got a haircut. Be careful. Some students wrote gotta. Gotta, no. This would be got to, and then we need a verb. Gotta, verb. This is got a noun. I got a haircut. I got a haircut. He sounds a little bit embarrassed. Uh, I got a haircut. Where's my hat? Do I have a hat? I have many hats. Hold on, let me get a hat. There we go. Uh, I, I got a haircut. I, I got a haircut. <laughs> yeah. I need a haircut. I'll get one soon. Actually, one month later. Anyway, I got a haircut. Oh, yeah? Can I see it? Oh, yeah? Can I see it? Can I see it? Now, actually, you can get rid of it. Can I see? Can I see? But she does say, see it? You can hear the end. Can I see it? Can I see it? 
Can I see? Can I see? Can I see it? Can I see it? My cat is crying. I'll say I'll just let you say hi to my cat. I I have a new kitten. Yeah, it's really tiny. Actually, she has a sister too. Uh, this is uh, Minty. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, play. Be quiet, though. <clears throat> Sorry. It's your fault. Be quiet. Don't you attack me. No. <clears throat> Sorry. Can I see it? Ah, there's nothing to see. Ah, there's nothing to see. Oh, this was tough. There's that TH sound. Ah, there's, ah, there's very weak TH sound. Ah, there's nothing. Now remember, ING, we can say nothing, nothing, and nothing, nothing. And it's kind of a, a un, a schwa sound. <clears throat> And that's the sound here. Nothing to see. It's actually nothing to. Nothing to. Nothing to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, there's nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Now, why do we say nothing to? It should be nothing to. But the typical pronunciation, nothing. And then the word to. To has seven possible sounds. To, ta, da. Da, I'm sorry, da, ta, and t, d. Okay? I'll write it down here. We can say, uh, hold on a second here. Ta, da, ta, da, t, d, and of course, two, as in two, t, o, o. Some people even say do. But these two sounds, t and d, are the most common. So nothing to, nothing to see, nothing to see, nothing to see. But then we've also studied, do you remember? We have three strong sounds. The strong sounds are the S, the N, and the L. And the weak sounds, the weak sounds are the D, the T, and the TH. And in this case, this N, nothing, nothing, cancels the T, so we get nothing, nothing, nothing to see. Ah, there's nothing to see. Ah, there's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Ah, oh, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. You turn on the television, ah, there's nothing to watch. Nothing to watch. Nothing to watch. Nothing to watch. You open the refrigerator, ah, there's nothing to eat. Nothing to eat. Nothing to eat, nothing to eat, nothing to eat. So it's very, very common. Nothing to see, nothing to do, nothing to eat, nothing to read, nothing to watch. Nothing, 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 nothing. Ah, there's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Come on, let me see. Come on, let me see it. Let me see the haircut. Let me see it. Come on, what's wrong? Forget it. Forget it. No way. Don't think about it. Get out of here. No. Come on. Show me. Come on. You're a baby. Show. Take your hat off. All right. And Jerry takes his hat off and his new hairstyle. It, it looks okay, but it's so different from his other hairstyle and actually the woman, her name is Elaine, she laughs really hard. Watch the video, it's pretty funny. So, the words are really simple, but the pronunciation makes it difficult. How come you're wearing a hat? There's nothing to see. How come you're wearing a hat? There's nothing to see. That was the tough one. And the rest is okay. Ah, can I see it? It, you gotta get that it, it's not easy. Listen two more times. Try and repeat the first time with Jerry, the second time with Elaine. And then we move on to Daily Dictation 122. Hey. hey. How come you're wearing a hat? I got a haircut. Oh, yeah? Can I see it? There's nothing to say. Come on, let me see it. 
get it. Come on! Alright. Hey. Hey. How come you're wearing a hat? Uh, I got a haircut. Oh, yeah? Can I see it? Uh, there's nothing to say. Come on, let me see it. We get it. Come on! Alright. All right, DD122 is again about the rainforest in Brazil, the northern part of Brazil. It's called, of course, the Amazon. The Amazon is a huge, amazing rainforest, very important. And, of course, we hear that the Amazon is, a lot of it is being cut down for paper, for raising cows, cattle, that's not too good. But anyway, if you have a chance, and if I have a chance, I really want to visit the Amazon. It sounds pretty exciting. I'm a little bit worried about poisonous banana spiders and piranhas, those fish that can eat you. It's kind of scary, but otherwise, it looks exciting. The frogs and the monkeys and the jaguars. Wow. Ooh, I like that. So anyway, it's going to be a great video. Remember, if you have a request, please let me know. And if you can give me a video link, that's even better. Okay? Thanks a lot for the request. Uh, enjoy the dictation. It should be pretty simple, I hope. And at the end, I'll say hello to a couple of the new subscribers. Thanks a lot. The Amazon forest, which blankets 40% of Brazil's territory, is the home to more than 1,800 species of birds and several hundred species of mammals and more than 1,500 species of aquatic creatures inhabit its countless miles of waterways. The Amazon forest, which blankets 40% of Brazil's territory, is the home to more than 1,800 species of birds and several hundred species of mammals, and more than 1,500 species of aquatic creatures inhabit its countless miles of waterways. The Amazon forest, which blankets 40% of Brazil's territory, is the home to more than 1,800 species of birds and several hundred species of mammals, and more than 1,500 species of aquatic creatures inhabit its countless miles of waterways. The Amazon forest, which blankets 40% of Brazil's territory, is the home to more than 1,800 species of birds and several hundred species of mammals, and more than 1,500 species of aquatic creatures inhabit its countless miles of waterways. Okay, let me say hello to a couple of our new subscribers. We have from Mongolia, Oyun Chimeg, Oyun Chimeg Van Chig. And a special hello to this person's son, Jambal Jamtis. Jambal Jamps. Oh, this Mongolian pronunciation is really difficult. Jambal Jamps. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Do you speak English? I hope so. If you don't, maybe I can help you. Thanks a lot for joining my channel. From Taiwan, we have a lot of people. We have Rec 67. Rec 67. Were you born in 1967? Me too. We're friends. Uh, yeah. Also from Taiwan, is it Saget or Sagit 1127? Thank you very much for joining my channel. Again from Taiwan, we have Haman's 1969 1207. 1969, 1207, December 7th, 1969. Welcome to my channel. Uh, sure, sure. I think that's right. From Puerto Rico. Puer Puerto Rico. Cinco de Mayo. That's what I'm thinking of. Puerto Rico. 
a handsome 1,000. Last lesson we had sexy man 95. This lesson, a handsome 1,000. Are you rico suave? Rico suave. It's an old song. I like that song. Thank you very much. Gracias. From Antarctica, again, another person from Antarctica? Must be a scientist? I don't know. Sleepless Puppet. Perhaps you mean Sleepless Puppet. That's a good name. I like the name. Thanks a lot for joining. From Italy, grazie. To Adriana14463. Adriana, thank you very much for joining my channel. From Russia, my pronunciation. Spasiba. Ay, spasibo. 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 Is that pronunciation better? I usually say spasiba. Spasiba. But I think it's spasibo. Spasiba. Now I'm confused. Spasibo to the Lacrimusa. Lacrimusa, thank you very much for joining my channel. The next person, I don't know the country. Thereen. Thereen, thank you very much for joining. From Canada, Samantha Yo. Samantha Yo. Thank you very much for joining, Samantha. Again, from Taiwan, we have Rossi578. Is it Rossi or Rossi? Thank you very much for joining. The next person, I don't know where, but I like the name. 33 Top Bear. I like bears. Are you a bear? Cool. And finally, from the U.S., Dong Tuan An 9. Dong Tuan An, thank you very much for joining my channel. Tell your friends, share me on Twitter and Facebook and all those other cool things, and I'll see you next lesson. Bye-bye.